71 people at Mill Creek High School are in quarantine. The principal believes it's because individuals who were knowingly showing signs of COVID-19 had close contact with positive cases did not stay home. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy spoke with officials and parents about the dangers. I don't feel safe at all. Parents with kids at Mill Creek High School shocked to learn about the 71 people from the school now in quarantine after the principal says individuals who have tested positive for COVID-19 came to school while they were sick. My daughter has not sat foot in that school yet, so that's, that's a, a relief to me and my, my family. But it's scary to think that she could have been one of those kids. The school says there are three confirmed cases, one suspected case and 67 close contacts who are now in quarantine. In a letter to parents, the school's principal writes, in my opinion, the vast majority of the close contacts could have been prevented had some of the individuals who are now sick or are awaiting test results not come to school when they were not feeling well or if they had stayed home as they knew they had been exposed to someone who had received a positive test. Parents online calling out each other for putting all at the school in harm's way. Mill Creek students have had the option to learn digitally since classes started back up. One parent whose kids do learn digitally telling me they believe only around 20 to 30 percent have taken up the option and says this careless behavior reassures them they have made the right decision. Decision. Right now, I don't feel safe at all. Like in the near future, and not until we figure out what this thing is, how to control it, and uh, how to stop it. Right now, the only way that that's, uh, people can avoid it is by avoiding each other. Parents telling me other parents may not have the means to stay home if their kids need to be quarantined. The county and the schools imploring parents to please keep kids home if they are showing any symptoms at all of COVID-19. In Gwinnett County, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.